Inside of the world of 3D printed part engineering, if you're taking a part into mass production, the question often comes up, should you create a feature inside of CAD or should you create it in the slicer? This is something that can occur with like textures. A slicer can apply simple basic textures like fuzz and noise inside of a print in order to create a textured pattern. Designing it inside of CAD is kind of inefficient, but CAD allows you more control. Or it might be like the raft of the part. Should you use a software generated raft inside of a slicer or should you design it inside of CAD? And ultimately, the short answer of this is you should do everything in CAD that you possibly can. Everything in CAD that you possibly can. Here is the reason. With us as a contract manufacturer, we are taking a product from a client and we are trying to bring it into reality for them. They have a vision of what their product should be and how it should function. Therefore, they should have as much control as possible. However, for us within the manufacturing process, we have to be able to slice it and cut up the parts and make slight adjustments in the machine motion and machine tool head motions in order to make sure that it is mass producible. That is like the difference between someone designing a model and then a mold maker making a mold. When we are slicing apart, we are making the mold. But for a client, if there is some product feature that is critical to the part, it should exist within the CAD design. That way the client is able to adjust it and move it as they learn more information from their customers about how the product should be made and other sorts of modifications that they want to have made. So anything that can be done in CAD should be done in CAD. That includes rafts, brims, textures, anything else that you can possibly think of, assisting features, that kind of thing. Ideally, even support material if that is necessary. The reason is, is because CAD lets you have so much more control of those than slicing ever can. Slicing is a very limited process. Quite frankly, also, slicing has an issue where very long term, as we start building up 3D printing supply chains where more people just upload a model and then a part is delivered when somebody orders it, you want to have as much reliability in there as possible and in order to do that, you have to have generic slicing settings. You can't really have dynamic ones where the settings change all the time because AI tools and machine learning systems are not smart enough to deal with the infinity of 3D model geometry and how to interact with it. So designers have to get used to designing in the features that they need in the part so that they can just be uploaded and printed on demand without some sort of special magic slicer settings where you place support or anything else like that. So anything that you possibly can design in CAD you should, because it allows you to hand off the file to the manufacturer more cleanly. It allows the manufacturer to use more generic settings without having to engineer each part as readily. And it ensures that you're able to iterate and change your part over time without there being a big translation process where, oh, they changed that one feature and now everything down the line is screwed up. So anything you can possibly design in CAD, you should, because it improves the entire manufacturing process as much as possible. Have a great day, everybody.